today I'm going to show you how to change your permalinks in WordPress from an old structure to a new structure um, without losing your redirect patterns or having the old structure go to 404 or not found pages. Uh, I made a tutorial on this a little while back, but I wanted to give a more concise version uh, as that information is a little bit outdated now. All right, so starting out, I have a blog here. And uh, I have a couple of posts, just some dummy content. And right now it's set to day and name. So we get the, the year and the month and the day and then the, the, uh, the post name. Okay, so that's the way it's set right now. And it's been this way for like two years. So um, a lot of these links, when I change my permalink structure and take this date out, a lot of those posts will go to a not found page and that'll cause a plethora of search errors inside of the Google console, which we do not want for SEO reasons and uh, you know, usability reasons in general. So uh, if we go to our posts, I have a sample post here. I just wanted to give a, an idea of what the link looks like. So we have our URL and then we have our year and our month and our day and then the post name. We're gonna go to that real quick and make sure the page works. And we see that the, the post is here and we also see the, uh, the old permalink structure that we wanna change. So we'll go to settings in WordPress and then we're gonna to go to permalinks. If we change this to just post name, the URL is going to look a lot cleaner. So I'm going to save that change and then go back to my post here. I'm gonna click edit post. And we'll see at the top underneath of the title area that the permalink looks a lot better. However, if we go back to this URL with the date inside of it, it's not going to automatically redirect to the new URL structure, unfortunately. That goes to a 404 page. So we need to use a utility that allows us to automatically detect these permalink structures and then redirect to the post uh, URL structure that we have now. This is relatively easy as long as you know how to access your site files. Uh, so working with a file manager inside of the cPanel or if you uh, know how to use FTP file transfer protocol. So um, what we're going to do is we'll go to a utility and I'll provide the link to this utility inside of my video description but it's by Yoast and it allows us to change the permalink structure using a utility that's going to generate a redirect pattern for us to put inside of our what's called an HT access file inside of the root of our WordPress installation. Um, so changing that and adding this line to it is actually quite simple as long as you know how to manage your site files. So we'll start with the URL. And for this, I have a test for rainmaker.local. This is my URL to my site. So we paste that into the top box here and we leave out the trailing slash. So yoursite.com, no trailing slash. Make sure you take note of whether your site is HTTP or HTTPS. You can find that out by simply looking at your site and a URL and seeing this here. Our site is not running in a subfolder, so we leave this blank. In my instance, the web server is running on Apache. Uh, some web servers are Nginx. If you are running Nginx, you probably know that you're running Nginx. Um, so nine times out of 10, this is going to stay as Apache. Okay, so looking at our old permalink structure, we were previously using day and name. So we wanna match that inside of this utility. Select day and name, this is the old permalink structure. That's all we have to fill out and then we hit generate redirect. Once that's set up, we just grab this code from the start until the finish and we make sure there's no spaces at the beginning or the end of this line and then we go to our HT access file. Now, if you're using FTP, then this file will most likely be inside of your root public HTML area as a hidden file called .ht access. Um, this is running Nginx, so this, uh, this particular site, but it would look like this. On an Apache server. That's what the file would look like. And you would have to go into your FTP editor and go to view and then show invisible files to see that file if it doesn't show up in your root immediately. Okay? So that's an example for FTP. Since I'm running this locally, I'm just gonna close that out and I'm gonna go to my finder 
and in my public directory, much like FTP, there's my HD access file. It's going to be in the same folder as your WP content folder and your wp-config.php file. So we will right click that and edit with our favorite code editor. And at the top of the file, I like to put a little comment in there. You can start a comment by making a hashtag and saying something to the effect of this is for uh, post redirects after permalink change. Okay, so that's a comment just to let you know what this code is doing and so that people don't delete it in the future. And we simply paste the code that the, our utility generated for us on this page, copy, and paste it here. It should look like this in the end with your URL and all of this gibberish. Okay, we simply save that. And now if we go back to this 404 page with the old permalink structure, keep in mind that we want it to redirect from this structure to the new one without throwing a 404 or not found. So we'll go ahead and hit return. I've cleared the cache and now it's redirecting to the right URL from the old URL structure. And that's all there is to it. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.